This is Twit. So back in 2017, there was a big splash about Microsoft had made some kind of a quantum computing breakthrough. They announced it at Ignite. And uh, I sat there in the audience and I was like, nope. And I had a meeting uh, the next day or that day, whatever it was, with the guys who were on stage from Microsoft Quantum. These advanced, these aliens with the the glass fish <laughs> container thing on their heads, and I had no yes, idea what they were. Thorat, what would you like to yeah. know? And they're like, "Listen, we're going to explain this to you in terms anyone will understand." I'm like, "Fantastic, that's what I need." <laughs> Forty five minutes later, I walked out of it like I'd been punched in the face repeatedly. I had no idea <laughs> what they had said, and I sat down and wrote the headline. Everything you need to know about quantum computing. And then the first sentence of that article said, is the article I wish I could write. (laughs) Um, I had no idea what they were talking about. Well, it's still pretty obscure, I have to say. Well, in 2017, they were just talking about Q-sharp and the quantum dev kit because they didn't have any hardware. Well, now they do. So they they have made... So I'm just going to read this to you because this is incredible. Yeah. (laughs) This is... I read this to my wife because I was like, you got to listen to this. So they made a breakthrough. Um, They have created a material that is neither gas nor solid nor liquid that enables them to in turn create what they call topological, or I think these are um, hardware, um, not hardware safe, hardware, I forgot the term, hardware back something, uh, qubits. Is that yes. right? Yes. yes. Qubits. So I don't understand any of this. All right, but here's here's a go. So quantum computers aren't going to use bits, right? So computers, zeros and ones, right? 8-bit system, everything, every unit is 8 bits, right? Expresses a, a value of some kind. 64 bits is what we have today. Qubits can store much more information. Qubits, uh, a quantum computer, every time you add a qubit, it doubles its performance. So the scale is like this... At, like rocket ship of scaling the problem is multiple. L- okay like rocket ships unstable <laughs> so the the more you scale the more unstable it gets and so microsoft and other companies that are concerned about quantum computing are trying to get to a point where they can scale with stability and stability means uh, being able to control it and have it be accurate and all that because yeah, qubits don't hang around <laughs> right <laughs> The, the yeah, don't ask is me that questions. We're, I actually, we're at a time I, in quantum computing that is much like the 50s for classical computing. We haven't made right. the IC yet. We haven't made the transistor yeah. yet. That's right. Every and so every computer is a bit on the bespoke side when it comes to their bits. Yep. And the same is here. There's like a half a dozen strategies that are being developed for for storing and entangling qubits. And honestly, Microsoft took the biggest bet with the margarine. Um, qubit because it was literally a new property of matter like this is insane why are you doing this there are much safer ways to go about yeah, it you're bending the space-time continuum for yeah, some you reason you have to you literally have to decry, describe new science to make this computer yep. well they yeah. expect to get one million qubits on a single chip which right you know, that, that, at that point you have quantum computing i mean you have right. an actual so a million qubits and remember every qubit is a doubling <laughs> of performance and capability with at st- with stability exponential exponential thank you yeah. hardware protected was the term i was looking for um yeah and so they've they they're on the path and so what they say right now is we, so they have this first generation of their first their first quantum uh processor using this technology uh, a topological core architecture that will help it scale to 1 million qubits w- which can do trillions of operations per qubit <laughs> Right, meaning they will have a quantum supercomputer within years, not decades. Maybe. It's using the Maharana fermion, just mm-hmm. in case you. I thought that was obvious to everyone, Leo. I didn't. Th- I, okay, I mean, I guess, I guess, it, if we're gonna talk down to our audience, <laughs> no, I know, I should. No, I, <laughs> actually, it's fascinating. It's so complicated. The, I don't know. the uh, physicist who hypothesized the existence of this back in the '30s, Maharana, yeah. uh, Ettore Mahara- Majorana. Right. was disappeared at the age of 31. Mm-hmm. He got he may have gotten on a boat, may not, but he just disappeared and they have never figured out where he went. It's it well, once they have a quantum computer, they're going to find him. He's going to pop out of thin air and be like, "I'm back, baby." Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I mean, this is really advanced uh yeah. stuff. I mean, I'm I couldn't claim to understand it. Uh it's qubits. So same. far I, I, with I, each of these strategies as the number of qubits goes up, it's exponentially more difficult to keep them stable. So right. they, I'm sure they say 
a million, but they're at eight. Yes. They're, right. I mean, literally, that's all they can do right yeah. now. Yeah. No, but it, but again, you know, uh, it's, it's the scaling is so off the charts. It's it's hard. It's amazing. It's hard to think in terms of these numbers. It just doesn't make sense. And it may never happen. It might be like cold fusion. It might be one of those things yeah. that never mm-hmm. happens. But it's great that they're working on it. And mm-hmm. NIST believes that it's, or at least takes it seriously enough that they have uh, proposed and now adopted a post quantum. Yeah, encryption yeah. technology lattice because, key encryption and yeah and, rsa uh, will not a survive machine. a quantum computing which by yeah. the way i'm thrilled right. about because right. that's the encryption on my bitcoin wallet so and then you can actually get it get it out finally <laughs> exactly i am just waiting for my first right. quantum computer in the basement and uh and i will be i'll you be rich just, and then you can just write it export it and you'll be you'll be rich <laughs> yeah it's funny hmm it's my retirement plan, quantum computing. <laughs> nice. Well, it will be years. It will be years, not decades. So it might. It may. We'll, we'll be talking about sense. this on the on the new show, which uh, okay. is back uh, right after this. Intelligent machines, because it is a breakthrough that may make a big difference in AI as well. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's I, the, yeah. the 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 combination of AI and quantum computing is just not a scalar compute. This is a different model entirely. This yeah, is no, I know, but it's just like the the two it. of them together. You know, it's like. Yeah, Oof. it's good science fiction. Superman versus the Hulk. Back. You don't think it's going to happen, uh, Richard? No, no, I think there's possibilities for them happening, but this is a supercomputing it, problem, specifically good at certain math problems. Yeah, it's not it's deterministic. It's not good. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, it's not good at scalar compute like you but, need for, but the, uh, for but all the compute right now in AI is, is at the front end. It's all front-loaded, right? It's all mm-hmm. done uh, building the model. Yep. Yeah. And uh, that's, well, still that's where the resources are needed. needed. Yes, to get, I, I, would, I don't know if you could do it with a quantum computer. You think you couldn't? No. I don't, I think they're totally different problems. The tokenization that happens. Yeah. It's not the same strategy at all. Okay. Right. So the maybe it would be another kind of AI. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. It's well, for, it's, it's possibilities right? for new algorithms. Right now it's mostly science fiction. So this, like, there's really I, important things guys, you could be doing in quantum computers. None of which has to do with encryption. Right? If, if the, oh, zombie, if the zombies problems. come back, you got to have a plan for that. <laughs> if the robots overtake us, you got to have a plan for that. Yeah. If yeah. both those things just happen at the same time, we're just going to wing it. So but you're like, you if it never happens, hey, at least you've got, you know, uh, I don't know, a bunch of uh, chainsaws ready. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just, exactly. <laughs> I just, you, know? uh, you follow the rules of zombie land, you'll be fine. Yeah. Nice. Got put, just put a lot of nails in those baseball bats <laughs> and just in case. Just, uh, you know, double tap. That's be all ready. I'm saying. Double tap, right? That's the key. Yeah. That's, the, that's <laughs> the thing everyone screws up in the horror movies. You got to double tap. You don't just... So, just do you think this announcement from Microsoft? I mean, they actually sh- have a show a picture of this thing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and is, it's too ugly not to be real, you know. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, it yeah, looks like it a just, steampunk chip design from the nineteen seventies or something. It's very well fifties, whatever. But it's very strange looking. But yeah. the fact that they've got Marana fermions even existing for a moment is a break. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah, whether but that's the same as you know being able to make <laughs> a transistor. It doesn't make a computer. Right, you're lost, still got sure. way far. But you to got go. to take that first step, Richard. But without a doubt, this is this this will be a milestone event mm-hmm. that will be a one sentence. Uh, should they actually get through all of the hard stuff? <laughs> oh, this isn't the hard stuff yet. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> never mind. I'm just saying. I got an email, and it said we have invented a material that is neither yep. gas nor solid nor liquid. And I was like, just stop talking right now. <laughs> Wasn't well, that plasma? Isn't plasma? Plasma is another state of matter. But you get when you get down to these cryogenic temperatures, you get into like Bose condensates and things. Like there are weird behaviors of matter when the energy levels are low. Yeah. Yep. A- and when you get to these um, very tiny sizes too, right? These mm-hmm. quantum all well, you know is you got to hook the DeLorean up to the clock or whatever it is, and <laughs> one point hit eighty miles an hour. Fusion later. is just a matter of time now. Yep. yep. Uh, all right. A science fiction trip. Little, a little outside of my normal, <laughs> you know. No, I think it's fascinating. I actually bookmarked it for a, a conversation on uh, the show, the next show, because it is interesting. It's yeah. fascinating. I wish I understood it better. And it sounds like Richard, you've 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 done a lot of research on it. I've done the pieces on this, and and it, in some ways we've been stalled for a while. This is the first new news in a couple of years. Yeah. Although they're still fairly far behind. There's a lot of error correction stuff that's been done. Like we're inching towards the 150 to 250 qubit range, which if you can get them into stable logical qubits allows us to start to tackle some of the quantum chemistry problems that we really would make a difference in the world long before we could attack encryption. 
So okay, the, good. The, you know, I'm willing to put off the decryption of my Bitcoin wallet for a little while to understand. Yeah. The, it's that's much further down the path. It's a lot more qubits right. than what it would take to actually solve the nitrogenase problem to be able to break down how so, bean plants are able to affix nitrogen to ammonia with no almost no energy uh, at all. Interesting. Right? Uh -huh. like those are real useful problems that are probably in the 250 logical qubit realm hmm. that could change the way we produce fertilizers on the planet, make it easier to make more food, like real stuff. Right? What you're saying is I'm probably going to be dead before I get into my Bitcoin wallet. Um, quite possibly. But you know what? Your grandkids will be thrilled. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll give it. Well, I gave it to my son, and I've actually given it yeah. to many people at this point right. because. But it'll be much like you know right. finding whoever can get in here first can have it. Yeah, you know, exactly. It'll be like finding a Florence stash Lyon. of Deutschmarks from the 1930s. Right. Look, Grandpa had cube. It had had <sighs> yeah. Bitcoin. A drawer full of he silver had 7 certificates. 7.85 Bitcoin. Yeah. There you go. Maybe it'll be worth millions by that time, or maybe it'll be maybe worth it'll nothing. Be yeah, we worth the electrons it's written on. So the, the, by the time that happens, we won't have money. It will be like Star Trek. You know, it won't even yeah. matter. Like, congratulations, yeah. you have billions of dollars. We don't, by the way, we don't have dollars anymore, but yeah. enjoy that. <laughs> hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv slash WW. And of course, there's links right below me.